Hey VC friends, uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, just thought I would check in. Uh, just going, <laughs> doing a lot of multitasking here. I got a, a, a video rendering on the computer. I got a album recording in the living room. Uh, I got some laundry in the dryer. So why not shoot a video as well? Uh, get get uh, multiple things done at once. Uh, yeah, but things are going well. It's finally Friday. Uh, it's Friday when I'm making this video. I don't know when I'm going to be able to upload it. But, uh, yeah, I got my, got my living room PC back together, running finally. So, been plowing through some vinyl, doing some more recording, and uh, adding things to the collection. So, I thought I'd go ahead and do a video and talk about some of these things that are going, that I'm going to be keeping and going in the collection. And share them with you and maybe see if you had any thoughts on them or maybe uh, inspire you to pick some of these up. But anyway, the first thing we got here is something pretty much everybody knows probably pretty well. It's uh, Outkast's speaker box and the Love Below. Sort of Andre 3000 made a record and Big Boy made a record and they put them put them together uh, in this one package uh, on the CD version it's two CDs or this is actually four LPs um, but it's got the songs Hey Ya and um, oh, The Way You Move but yeah good album cool album I found this at a, at a it was a uh, neighborhood garage sale that I found that happened um, last fall when we moved into the neighborhood here and picked this up for three bucks so I thought definitely worth three bucks to have even though I already have the CD but yeah just cool hip-hop collection there uh, next up another hip-hop one this is Tupac's Machiavelli the Don Caluminati um, sort of an, an, an interesting interesting album um, maybe not his best uh, but just sort of an interesting him trying to take on sort of an alter ego and yeah I really like this song uh, me and my girlfriend on here yeah, that was a pretty cool cool pickup I picked this up at a flea market earlier this year I think for a dollar so it was cool a cool find really nice Next up is the soundtrack to one of my favorite movies of all time, and the soundtrack is really good too as well. Uh, it's The Color of Money. Uh, you got Warren Zevon, Don Henley, Robert Palmer, Mark Knopfler, Eric Clapton, B.B. King. Okay, we're back. Battery died. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a, a great soundtrack, even if you haven't seen the movie at all. And it's just some great songs. My favorite song on here is probably Werewolves of London. I, I love that song, and it just makes you want to get up and get up and dance, um, get up and uh, strut around. I guess howl at the moon. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, this is a cool piece just to have in the collection. It's the pressing is not great. I mean, this is the late '80s, and record companies were selling mostly mostly CDs and cassettes and. I don't think they were paying much attention to the vinyl anymore, and it was—it's—it's it's a pretty cheap pressing, um, and that shows. But it's just a cool piece to have in the collection, and I did buy it sealed, so it's—it's it's nice, clean, you know, near mint, as near mint as possible copy, and I just wanted to have it in my collection. But definitely a great soundtrack. I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't heard it already. Next up is Jodeci's The Show, The After Party, The Hotel. What I think, personally, is their best album. Um, just sort of a very cool concept of, you know, a night. You know, you go out, go to the show, go to the after party, and then uh, what happens in the hotel afterwards, after the after party. Um, yeah, this is sort of the soundtrack to, you know, a great night like that, like that would be. I, I just really love this album, and I was really pleased to find this um, from oldies.com in their uh, trailer load sort of sale that they're doing of new old stock sealed stuff, and 
for three or four bucks I, I had to have this and this is definitely something to check out I recommend it uh, like I said I think this is their best album very cool uh, next up is one that at first I hated it and it's growing on me a little bit um, at first I just totally hated it completely um, but yeah it's Guns N' Roses Chinese Democracy this is still no use your illusion. It's nowhere near that level of, of, of goodness, but it's it's better than it's not horrible like I first thought. Uh, there's there's definitely some good songs on here, um, and I, I found myself really enjoying this. I played this when I was doing some house cleaning, and it was it was good music, definitely good. So I'll be keeping this for now. I said it, it, I got it at Best Buy for two bucks, I think, or something. So I'll be keeping it. Maybe if you're a Guns N' Roses completist, you'll be you'll want that as well. Uh, next up, something I've been talking about a lot lately and playing a lot: uh, Icky Blossoms. Great sort of dance. Rock, electro, uh, just just a great, just great dance music, party music. I'm sure most of the people in the VC have heard some of this due to Derek talking about it and playing it. And, uh, it's really cool. I posted a video of unboxing uh, the album, and the band actually posted it on their Facebook page, which which was really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I love this album. I've been playing playing it to death, but it's definitely staying in the collection, and I'm gonna I'm gonna file it away so I know exactly where it's at, and uh, I go to the I section and pull this out and play it some more. But it's going getting filed away for now. I think my favorite uh, just just to talk about it a little bit. Um, yeah, the, like the like Derek said, he's he's a lead writer on the first track, Heat Lightning, and it definitely does have sort of a New Order feel to it. It, it, it it's it's interesting. This album has like tracks. There's there's sort of like an '80s dance music kind of feel to it, or '80s synth pop sort of feel, um, or almost uh, Eastern European sort of dance sort of feel to it and then there's stuff tracks where it's almost like a 90s sort of techno-y sort of feel to it and then there's other tracks where it's almost like you know uh, alternative rock indie rock but with a, with a dance beat um, dropped into it really cool I really love the track uh, sex to the devil is, is one of my favorite tracks the, the following track after that cycle I love that one. Um, the track "Forest" on the uh, the bonus seven inch, which is over there, I won't grab it. I love that track also. But yeah, a really fun album. This is it's definitely a great summertime album, and I recommend everybody uh, go out and get this. Next up is the one one of the ones that Jim and the Misses gifted me. It was really, really fun to being able to visit with them while they were down here in Florida. Uh, really cool, and they said everybody should definitely have Muddy Waters Electric Mud, and I agree. I've been listening to this a lot. Uh, yeah, very cool, very cool pickup. I'm glad to have. I think that's my first Muddy Waters actually in my collection. Just surprisingly, it's, but. Uh, next up is something that's taken me a while to get around to actually uh, digitizing and getting getting filed away, but this is Earth, Angels of Darkness, Demons of Light 2, uh, the second one. Sort of one of those groups that I never thought I would get into. I mean, if I if I wasn't part of the VC and I walked into a record store and I saw this, I would, I would be like, uh, that's kind of scary and doesn't look like my kind of music, but... I, I love this, and uh, yeah, I'm def I definitely dig this a lot. Very cool. 
Next up, we have the final Alan Parsons Project album. This is Gaudi. This is uh, based on the life of Antoni Gaudi. He was a, an architect. And this sort of works off of the themes of his life and his work, uh, mostly around a church he designed that is continuously being built on um, in Barcelona. called the Sagrada Familia. Yeah, this is not this is not the, the best Alan Parsons project. Like I said, this is their final album. Um, but I'm a completist and this was the last one I needed to have all of them. So it's cool. This next one is one that I actually posted on Facebook last night because I enjoyed it so much and I did I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it. It was a it was a Goodwill pickup. Uh, I probably picked this up close to 2 years ago now and just hadn't got around to listening to it. It was in my It was in my pile of stuff that that's sort of over here that I grab stuff out of every once in a while and listen to. Uh, you know, my, my thrift store and dollar bin stuff, so it all goes just into a pile and I grab random stuff from it. And so this is Adam Ant's Friend or Foe. Really cool, really cool album. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's a really cool, almost psychedelic final track called A Man Called Marco, which uh, this is produced by Marco Peroni, so I guess it has something to do with that. Um, but yeah, so it's a cool closing track, and it makes you want to just start the album over again. I love, I love albums with great closing tracks like that, so... Very cool, but you know the, the hit song "Goody Two Shoes" is on here. Um, he does a cover of The Doors' "Hello, I Love You." Uh, yeah, it's just just cool stuff on here. I mean, a lot of a lot of varied. It doesn't all sound like Goody Two Shoes. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of different sounding songs on here. It's, some glam, there's some, some ska kind of sounding songs on here. Um, just interesting, you know, early 80s rock. But yeah, definitely gonna be checking out some more Adam Ant. Some people left some nice comments on Facebook for other things that I might be interested in, so I will definitely uh, be checking into some of that. So, uh, but I, I definitely recommend picking this up. It's, it's, you know, it's not too hard to find. So it, it was a it was a popular album because of Goody Two Shoes, I think. So you can probably find this in dollar bins and thrift stores. I think I've seen it uh, a couple times again since picking this up a couple years ago. But I already knew I had it, so I left it. But I will have to upgrade it probably because this one has some ring wear on it. But. And finally, we got another Pete Fountain here. You know, I've, I've said it before. I love I love the clarinet and I love. I enjoy listening to Pete Fountain just when I want to relax and, and chill and um, just something about a clarinet sounds sounds very soothing and calming to me. So this is A Taste of Honey. I'm guessing this is sort of an early 60s sort of, uh, it definitely has a loungy sort of feel to it. So it's definitely going after that audience. Uh, there's a cover of Stand By Me on here which actually is really good, I thought. King of the Road, In with the In Crowd, but yeah, that's another one for the Pete Fountain Collection, so thank you all for watching, I hope everyone is doing well, and uh, we will see you again real soon, enjoy good music, enjoy good beer, cheers.